So with that Monport 21 watt laser, as you saw, we were cutting some leather and doing some things with some leather in the intro. I wanted to show you that today. So this is the first piece I tried on. Kind of did a bunch of things on it, doodled on it. I cut out with it, tried some different settings. Here I did my test pattern. You know, it wasn't the best test pattern because it wasn't strong enough to cut yet. I was still learning. And I tried to do this map of Middle Earth, but it really needs to be on something much larger. And I only had this piece of leather. So everything's kind of scrunched and hard to see. But you can see where I started to cut out a bracelet. And then I just had the settings wrong, so I kind of aborted. I was scorching the leather and, you know, you dial this in with a specific piece of leather and you should be good. You know, because you're talking about different thicknesses with the leather. Um, I, I don't know if a different animal's leather would perform a little bit differently, but definitely the thickness is going to make a big difference. So I tried to do this bracelet, like I said, and you can kind of see the idea. I just had the settings wrong. That's on me. But you can cut this out. Um, if you went slow and did a lot of passes, you could probably drastically reduce the scorching and have these nice clean things. I just kind of cranked it way up there and crossed my fingers and I had it too fast. And if I would have slowed it down, done the speed, or slowed it down, done the power a little bit less, and then just done like two or three passes, I think it would have looked beautiful. Here I tried a second attempt. I monkeyed with the powers a little. So you can see I started at um, 400 speed and then, you know, 10 through 100. Here I was starting at 600 speed. I maxed out at, what, 16,000. Here I maxed out at 18,000. But you can see where I was starting to finally cut through. Now, like I said, if I was going to cut with this, I would probably scale my power down and my speed, and then I would come in here somewhere and probably do two, three, four passes because you, you don't necessarily want this scorched look. Then I tried again, made the map a little bit bigger, and still, you know, I have too much detail in this small piece, but like, it looks wonderful, and you know, no bleed through or anything. If you could actually, <laughs> you know, see the detail, it would be great. But like the text, you, you know, you've got decent text. So you could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could do the bracelets, you could do these maps, you could do personalized things like on a wallet or something if you wanted burnt instead of stamped. Pretty much the sky's the limit, right? Um, <clears throat> I definitely need to get more leather so I can like dial in everything, but this was just some cheap leather that I had sitting around and I was like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna use this for anything, so let's try this. I'm, I wanna do a much bigger version of this, but this laser won't do as big as I want. I want to do like a 16 by 16 inch one, and none of my lasers do that. That's not a fault of the laser. Now, <clears throat> I could get a much more simpler map where I could break this up into sections of Middle Earth, and I might do that because it would be really cool to have a bunch of these as like Lord of the Rings maps and then like distress them a bunch, you know, roll them up into a ball and maybe get them a little wet and just make them look aged and scratch them all up. And I just think that would be really cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what leather looked like on the Monport 21 CO2 laser. There will be a link in the description to the laser as well as a 10% off discount code, which is Ryan Mercer as one word. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.